What's going on guys, it's Ashley here, welcome back to another Wolves video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the game between Wolves and Watford at Monu, which ended in a 2-0 win for Wolves. And it's our first Premier League win of the season, finally, after 7 games, we've got our first Premier League win. It's been a bit of a wait, but it's finally happened and um, yeah, I had, a, I had a good feeling it would happen against Watford. You know, as I said in the uh, Crystal Palace video, quite a bit of momentum from the Crystal Palace game, you know, as you would do um, from getting a uh, last minute equaliser. Um, you have a lot of momentum and a lot of confidence, and we definitely took that um, into this game against Watford. Um, also, um, yeah, we're facing a team that just lost 8 0, and we're facing a team that doesn't have a lot of confidence at this point in time. We made good use um, of, of the control as the, the theme this season has been we've we've been we've been very good in, in attack. We've been, we've created quite a few uh, quite a lot of chances but yet we haven't taken advantage and and we've been punished for that. However it didn't take us long to take advantage um, of the chances we were getting as uh, Matt Doty put us in front within 18 minutes. It was nice to be leading in a game, first time we've uh, been leading in a game this season. We were confident, we were confident and we went into half time, won the up. Um, not really in any danger at all. To be honest, Watford have you know, compared to last season where, you know, obviously, FA Cup final, doing very well last season. Absolutely far cry this season, isn't it, uh, for Watford. And, um, yeah, weren't in any danger of, uh, didn't feel any danger from them, uh, really, in any part of the game. And in the second half, we continued our, uh, continued our domination. Um, could have uh, what could have let Watford back into the game potentially. Uh, Richard Shear, um not exactly handling uh, confidently uh, at one stage. Uh, could have um, led to Watford equalising, but uh, that didn't occur uh, fortunately. And um, yeah, we uh, went on to get our second goal um, through a Daryl Yamat own um, goal. It was kind of like. Uh, the cross went into the box, um, and then uh, Morgan gives like, um, obviously trying to head it towards goal, and Darryl Dar Dar was like, oh, um, you couldn't quite head it towards goal, let me do that for you. And uh, yeah, he got a, well, he turned it into his own net, and uh, he made it 2-0, um, and that was the game really. First three points of the season, and um, yeah. Feels good to um, have uh, the first Premier League win of the season. And uh, hopefully we can go from here now. We've got Besiktas um, on Thursday. Um, hopefully we can pick up our first first three points in Europa League uh, group stage. Um, hopefully we can do that on Thursday. And we've got the dreaded trip. Um, we've got the dreaded trip on uh, well, probably be on Sunday, won't it? Because it, because of the Europe League, uh, dreaded trip to Manchester City away. I can't. I'm I'm absolutely dreading that game. I really am absolutely dreading that game. Oh. Hopefully, hopefully we can come come out of that um, without being absolutely humiliated because even though we've got our first win of the season. You know, the, the way still the way we've started the season just doesn't strike me with confidence um, going into the Man City game. But I do have more confidence than I did a few a few games ago um, when yeah we weren't exactly playing our best football. But now um, a point uh, goes to Crystal Palace. Four points from our last four points. Uh, from a possible six 
and my last two. Maybe we're back on the up, but who knows? Yeah, maybe we are back on the up. Um, two 0 win against Watford. Let's go and uh, let, let's go and back, beat Besiktas and Man City. Yeah, just uh, go rock up to the Etihad and uh, beat Man City. Piece of cake. Anyway, um, hope you did enjoy this uh, match review. If you did, make sure to smash that like button, and uh, I shall see you on Friday with a review of the Besiktas game. Until then, goodbye guys!